Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Kryptonic and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can improve your Warzone and your Cold War FPS and get rid of stutters if you are having any stutters. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it. But anyways guys, let's get straight into the video. So now let's start off with some of the problems that I've been having and kind of telling you guys how I came to this conclusion. So I have a Ryzen 5 2600 with an RTX 2060 and I was having stuttering issues like crazy. And I went on threads, forums, and no one really seemed to have a solution. And of course I have a solution now because I found it on a thread or a forum, but they were buried through, you know, you just have to keep reading and reading and read. It, take, it took forever basically to get to the bottom of it. But basically this is what I found. So the first solution I have for you guys today is something that came from another YouTuber who actually posted it into an NVIDIA thread. And this is very, very useful because a lot of people actually got a little bit of an FPS boost because of it. And it's something very simple. So all you have to do is go into your folders and then go to documents, find your Cold War document, click it, double click it, get to the config file once you're in the config file go all the way down once you get to the bottom you will actually see a core count and that core count will be either for me it's a two or a four and i just put that to the highest number so i put a four and then i go further down and we get to vram usage and this is where a lot of people were saying that the fps boost actually came from so this is what your graphics card is actually using so your gpu power being allocated to the game you just want to change that from like 0.7 to 0.65 and that will be really it you click in file and then you click save and you're done you close it you open up your game and it'll run with these settings and it actually does increase your FPS a little bit because you're using less of your GPU, which this game doesn't really seem to utilize your PC components as properly. I think it utilizes more your CPU than your GPU, which doesn't make sense because the GPU is literally there for powering the game. So why go off of the CPU when most people don't have the greatest CPU? And now for the second fix that I have for you guys, this is something that I actually only saw one person say that it worked for them, but it was the biggest thing that worked for me. And that is actually updating your BIOS. Now hear me out. I haven't updated my BIOS since I got my computer and put it together a year ago, but my motherboard probably hasn't been updated way longer than that because I have a 2600X in here, which means that this motherboard that I got was like second gen that supported third gen, but I had to update the BIOS and I never did it because I don't have a third gen Ryzen. So I basically never touched my BIOS and that's something that, you know, it's a driver that you wanna keep updated similar to your GPU. When a new game comes out, you have to update your drivers. So for your BIOS, it's a little bit different, but for the most part, there are driver updates every so often. So you wanna make sure you stay on top of that, which I clearly didn't do. And after I basically went to the website, found the drivers, downloaded the drivers, put all the drivers onto a USB stick, turned off my computer, turned it back on, plugged in the USB stick and just updated the BIOS. It was that easy, it took no time almost, and it gave me the biggest performance boost I've seen yet. And now, like I said, updating your BIOS is probably one of the most important things. It's not something you always do, but it's something you should try to stay on top of because as you guys clearly saw, for me, it was the biggest thing that just kind of got rid of all the stuttering I was dealing with and it gave me more solid FPS where I wasn't just going from like 80 all the way down to 40 to 30. It just kept, I'm telling you guys, it was really, really bad to the point where I just wasn't playing games because it kept doing it and it didn't make sense that for some games it did it and other games it just ran fine. So I was trying to figure it out and the BIOS update just kind of fixed everything for me. If you guys did end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it. Like I did say, these two things were the two things that helped me the most out of all the things I could have seen on a thread. I tried everything on threads, forums, changing settings, going into config, everything. And a lot of it didn't work, but actually going into the settings of Cold War and Warzone, which is very similar in case I didn't actually say it. In Warzone, it's the same thing. You go into the documents and then it's even easier actually because there's only like four lines of text into it. So you can easily change the core count being utilized. So it's even easier to do than Cold War. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if it did help you out, please let me know because I love helping you guys. And the fact that I was able to find this and just get it working, get my game to be you know a beautiful running game on pc it just it felt good and i wanted to share that with you guys because there have to be a lot of people out there that are struggling in the same way and it could just be a simple bios update so 
Honestly, just try out all the things I talked about and let me know how it goes. My name is Kryptonic. I stream on Twitch Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Catch me there one of these days and I'll see you guys later. Peace, guys.